So coming up, we have Val Vinicor with Babel Babel. Val. Thanks. Eel pull. I like that. Um, okay. Let me see if I can operate this. Okay. So uh, I'm going to spend two minutes talking about a book uh, that took me about four years to translate. This is, this is the book right here. Um, I uh, edited, uh, translated it, um, selected 72 stories um, by Isaac Babel, uh, and, uh, and I annotated it as well. There's about 50 pages of annotations. And I also included illustrations uh, by um, the late Soviet um, painter from Odessa named Yefim Ladozhensky, and you'll see a, a couple of those uh, illustrations uh, in, these, uh, in these slides. Anyway, so in the spring of 1920, Isaac Babel, a short, asthmatic 25-year-old Jew from Odessa, joined the Soviet Red Cavalry as it rampaged through Ukraine and Poland. Now, why would a nice Jewish boy with glasses ride with the Cossacks? Was it, as a friend would ask him, to touch the merchandise in the store where death is sold? To which Babel is said to have replied, I never touch. I just like to go inside now and then to see what it smells like. Babel had an artist's instinct for sniffing out life and death, for placing or imagining himself amidst every possible cultural and moral contradiction. I left Moscow as a child in 1978. A decade later, I was a bored teenager working in the mailroom of a large downtown Miami law firm, secretly reading Babel's tales of Odessa gangsters in raspberry wingtips, Cossacks in tall boots and black cloaks, thorns of supposedly detached prose getting caught in my skin. Babel, in a way, brought the contradictions of my life together, from my commissar grandfather to the very uh, Odessan flavor of uh, South Miami Beach, where I grew up in the 1980s. If you've seen the movie Scarface or seen Miami Vice, that's pretty much what it was like. Um, by the age of 30, Babel had realized his dream of becoming the Soviet Tolstoy. In 1940, Stalin personally ordered his arrest, torture, and execution. Babel's fate echoes a line from his own fiction. Everything went my way, and everything went badly. Which, in a way, is also kind of the modern Jewish story in less than 10 words. Anyway, I call this book The Essential Fictions. For Babel and for me, fiction is essential to life, and the best parts of life are essentially striving to be fictions. I also think that Babel is the best short fiction writer of all time, and that his stories specifically rhyme with the noise of our time. Today, it's Putin, not Stalin, and yet Russia is rampaging through Ukraine again, another struggle pitting East against West. I was inspired to retranslate Babel, partly by something he himself wrote about the art of translation in one of his stories. The Russian goes like this. Никакое железо не может войти в человеческое сердце так леденяще, как точка, поставленная вовремя. Literally, this would read, no iron can enter the human heart as icily as a period placed in time. In my version, nothing of iron can breach the human heart with the chill of a period placed just in time. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>